today. So, today, can you remember the story of David and Goliath? Yeah. Who was Goliath? The big bad guy. The big giant. And he was so big. And what happened? What did he do? He got a slingshot. He got five stones. And yes. that's the only head. Well, very, very close, yeah. yeah. So a long, 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 long time ago, there was a big giant. And he was called... What was he called? Goliath. Goliath. The big, big giant was called Goliath. And all of the Israelites were scared. And Goliath said, come and send somebody to fight me. And everybody was scared and nobody wanted to fight him. And then one day, a little boy, just a very small little boy, called, called David, yeah. And he said, I'll fight this giant and I'll save my people. Now David, he wasn't a soldier, and he didn't have any weapons. He just had, how many stones did he have? Five stones, five tiny little stones. Just five. And he had a sling. Now a, a sling is just, well, slingshots are quite a new invention. But what David had, it was just like a little piece of leather, like a pouch and he put his, his stone in it and he would swing it round and round and round and then he would let it go like this and the stone would fly out of his pouch and hit its target. So, but today we've been to the woods, haven't we? And we've found some of these fantastic sticks. So we're gonna make a slingshot with it, hopefully. Yeah? yeah. And what David did, he prayed to God and he said, God, I am small and I am not strong. The, the giant Goliath is so big and mighty. And he said, God, please help me. Give me the strength to defeat this giant so that my people will be safe. And then he took one little stone and put it in his pouch and he swung it around and around and the stone pelted the giant right in the head. And the giant fell to the ground and little David defeated him. And all the Israelites cheered and said, yeah, we're saved. Well done, David. And that little boy, David, became the king because he was so brave. So let's have a go at making this slingshot. What we need is a stick, a stick with two prongs on the end. <laughs> Okay, so when we went to the woods, we found a few of these, didn't we? But yes, we did. I don't know what we've done with them, so this is the only one we can find right now, and that's fine. And then we've got four elastic bands. And what we're going to do with the elastic bands is we're going to just thread one through the other. So it's like this. I don't know if you can see that. And then with the small side here. I can't do it for mine. I'll show you, I'll help you in a minute. We're just going to wrap this around one side of the, um, of the slingshot. Wrap it around as many times as you can. Tight, 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 tight. The table. Have okay, so now we've got um, a bit of elastic band wrapped around each side and and another elastic band attached to it if you can okay if you can kind of knot it around if there's a little knot in the wood that'd be a good idea because it'll stop it from twanging off okay and then we've got some felt what color pants shall we have on our pink shirt? i want pink pink should have known you'd want pink okay so it doesn't have to be very big. We'll um. Are we having two pieces of it? And then we've got a hole punch, and so we're just going to punch a hole. Let's cut the bottom off so you can see. I'm going to just punch a hole just on each side. Yeah. Well done. Good job, bud. Oh no. Okay. So we've got 
our piece of felt with two holes either side. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to thread. Can you help me? Thread this through. So I've got the um, I've got it through the hole and then just kind of looped it back onto the stick. Okay, which makes it a bit gives it a bit more strength then um, gives you slingshot a bit more power and then this side you'll be very careful because that's very sharp it's holes in things doesn't it it's a hole punch then we've got some cotton balls how many cotton balls do we need these are our stones so how many stones do we need five five stones so we've got five cotton balls to be our stones I'll put that on there and you've got your stones and we've just made a very crude um, goliath just out of a Yorkshire tea box you could use a cereal box or anything so we've just made a little goliath and we're gonna stand it up and we're gonna try and try and defeat him with our slingshot so can you have a practice first so pass me one of your stones. So what we need to do, yes, just a minute. So we'll put our stone in the middle of our slingshot. Okay, watch him. Now I look. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot it over there. Look towards my phone. Okay, ready? So and then we'll pull it back like this. You know, like you bow and arrow. Pull it back and shoot. Oh, <laughs> you shot all the way over there. I think this is gonna be fantastic. Awesome. So now Noah is going to try and shoot his Goliath with his slingshot. So I'm just going to turn you around to see. Go on then bud. Wow! Look at that! Let me go around the other side and we'll watch. Okay. Come on then, I know. Oh, Neely. Let me do this. Oh, close. Do you know why we're not winning? Because David prayed, didn't he? And he prayed and asked God to help him defeat the giant. Can you do that? So, shall we pray? Yeah. Come on then. So just like David prayed, we're going to pray that God helps us to defeat the giant. God, sometimes we have big giants in our lives and we can't defeat them on our own but Lord we know that you are bigger and stronger and mightier than any giant that we might face so Lord help us to defeat them in Jesus name Amen <laughs>